Welcome to Short Attention Span Studio. Today I got two famous platforms for playing without pedal boards, amps, cabinets, etc. Basically, you play right to the PA or the recording system with amazing results. Uh, which one should you buy? All right, so this question is very difficult to answer because if you're somebody who really wants to get into it and move really fast, there's a platform here. Uh, the Helix through Line 6 that has the ability to plug in everything you want on the screen with hardly reading any manual. Um, then we have the famous one over here, the Fractal Audio AX8, which has a rather uh, learning curve to the page up, page back, and the smaller screen, which has like cubes for adding your modules. And it gets, you know, you have to read the manual to figure out how to get into those cubes and make arrangements. Uh, but once you get comfortable, you can really move around. Um, and then they have the patterned uh, buttons here for, you know, S and Y and the green. You have to learn what these mean and how they're assigned. Most people put labels on them after they do them so they can figure them out. This platform over here, you can do it right on the pedal and you can color code them. Like if your rhythms are always red, you have, you know, red or purple with solo or yellow, whatever. You can do that and you know what your patch names are, <clears throat> which is kind of cool. So you don't have to put stickers and stuff on here. This one also has a built-in expression pedal. This runs roughly $400 more than this unit. They also have some other units without all the fancy stuff, too, which take the price way down. Uh, but as far as sound, oh, my gosh, uh, you can make these sound identical if you want. And you can put the same impulse response, like I've done here, on both units and the same amp on both units with the same tube screamer uh, in front of it and damn, it's, it's almost so difficult to tell them apart. Um, however, I can do it a lot quicker over here. Um, now, I will say there are different amp models in here. Like this has some nice diesels and some other amps that this one doesn't have, but this one has rev amps and this one doesn't have it. This one seems to be a fixed platform. This one, every time they do software upgrades, you get a bunch of new stuff. So that's kind of cool too. Um, this one has more output options back here. Um, this one is all you need really, but this one has extra stuff, especially if you're a one man band and you're looping and you got a microphone put in the back for singing and all that stuff. It just has a lot of stuff to it. Um, as far as sounds, I'll give you a little, uh, demo of like a mirrored up setup. So I picked over here, like a boogie C2 and a boogie C2 here over here on this one with the same impulse response on both, uh, in a uh, distorted fashion. So you could see exactly if it sounds grainy or cheap or real or whatever you can hear the differences so we'll do that next now for the listening portion of it we're going to go with the helix first <laughs> now to the act effects ax8 <laughs> helix <laughs> Yes, they do sound different. Now, if you go in and change settings on either one of these, you can make them sound identical. Because the amp models are slightly out, um, you can go in and like change the mid on this and back off the treble and this one do just the opposite or whatever. So in the gist of it, you can make anything work and sound the same in both units. Uh, this is a little less money. This is more money with more ease and, and more um, options as upgrades come and whatnot. It's a great setup. Either one are excellent. So, so here we have a quick view of the software for the two. The uh, Fractal is to the right and the Helix is to the left. Using the same 2204 amplifier with the same TS-808 um, distortion pedal or driver um, with the same exact cab IR with the exact same settings on each and I'll let you hear the difference between the two and by the way the fractal software is really cool to use um, easy it's got tons of settings it's so much easier than trying to use the standalone interface on the actual physical board uh, the helix also super cool um, the helix you have to go to the website grab patches and then import export type of thing whereas the helix has it built in where you go straight to settings and then you go out to the internet and select the ones you want to audition first before downloading which is a cool feature 
now I'll let you hear it with the patches fully developed and not that just dry amp thing I just did. So here we go. This is the Line 6 Helix. <laughs> FX AX8. So as you can tell, you can do anything you want within these once you change all the parameters and get them where you're going. Uh, so that's it in a nutshell, and thanks for watching.